We're back to yet another episode of SimCity. Thank you guys for all your support and likes with this series. We're going to continue is on in the meantime while I was just loading this episode up and just getting everything ready. Some aliens decided to drop by and I guess they stole my grandma. Oh, now these people stopped talking to me. They were complaining about the, some green glowy lights being too addictive to look at or something like that. What's your problem? If we built a university, we'd be a major educational center. Actually got people protesting here. That's pretty funny. So they go to the mayor's house if you don't have a um, town hall okay, or a city hall. Righto. And what I also decided to do with this episode is just to spice things up just a little bit because we've pretty much like we're just, it's just the same all over and over again. And that's not very fun. So I went ahead. It's a lot of rubble over there. I went ahead. Is this seriously a real building? Wow, it's mighty black. I guess it's just this way though. But still, look like an abandoned building. Ah, <laughs> but as I was saying, I wanted to spice things up a little bit, so I went ahead and downloaded the Expose Debug UI mod. I'll be including a bit more mods in this Let's Play because the mods are actually fairly decent now because I haven't really been looking at all these mods and they do seem to be pretty good. There's some road improvements and all that, so we'll have a close look at them. It's pretty funny how the garbage trucks just go on their little drive and just go following. I wish you could click on follow and then just get rid of this. If you get rid of it, then we stop following him and that's no good. So what the exposed UI debug mode stuff does is it also enables us to build, I'm fairly sure, out of the area. I guess not, no, maybe not. Uh, but what it does enable us to do is just build wherever the hell we want, at least for the most part, if I can get things right. Uh, let's see. I, it did work when I tried to get, I think, here we go. If we go like here. I th yeah, okay, this is what we would need. We need to press this thing, which I can't even read. Something, well, it says region over here anyway. A little pop-up comes up. So you can play, if you click here, you can place buildings wherever you want. For the most part, although at the moment it's saying invalid placement. There we go. Whereas over here with the community college, we can place it wherever we want, which I think is pretty cool. You can place it wherever you want in your city, so right over here if you want. And the game won't stop you from building it there. That's pretty sweet. Let's also have a closer look. There's a couple of different roads, so a pedestrian path, a pedestrian only pathway, insert pathway to education metaphor here. Why are you guys... Okay, it was just the traffic lights that were just that bad or something. Because there's no car crashes or anything in the game. Alright, they're all just trying to file into one row. There's a pattern. One goes, then the other one goes. Okay. Alright, that's enough of that. Uh, so there's the pedestrian path. Let's have a closer look at how that looks. So it's probably just the same one as the college or the low density, all the same, definitely all the same, nothing too spectacular, although that had a street lamp on it, street light, an abandoned building here as well, too much crime, I'm pretty sure I did place a police station down here somewhere, nope, I guess that's not the case, we left up until this episode to do that, so, we can either get the food tower and cause mayhem, or just be your typical good guy cop and just get a police station. It's probably the most promising and I'll place it. Probably extend this road. Maybe here, this one. But like so, and then we'll place the police station right there. Might as well be the large, oh, well that's to be large, isn't it? That's pretty good though. Now we've got police coverage. I heard the um, fire alarm. Buffy, where is this fire? Seems like we're managing the fires pretty well. No houses have been burnt down, so that's a relief. Especially you don't want the nuclear power plant to be uh, just crumbling down. Uh, so, uh, 
worker education level is only moderate. Nothing too good at the moment, but... There's a heck of a lot of different things. I don't remember these, um... These reactors have being different coloured, but like having different coloured bands. That's pretty cool though. Uh, so let's get out of here. We've only got $30,000 left. In the meantime, I'm pretty sure there's nothing really all that new in any of these tabs because I went ahead and checked before. Nothing too amazing. I wish we'd uh, be able to like get the DLC for free or something because I am paying $10 for some airships or something. That's just crazy. You'd have to be pretty much insane. Or the casino. I think the casino might have been worth it. Only just. Not really. Uh, but $10 for like a... Uh, not casino, but the... The, the uh, fun park. Roller coaster ride thing. Amusement park. That's what it was. Uh, and uh, we can take photos and pictures. We've got... Some we haven't unlocked the We Are Not Alone achievement yet. I definitely had aliens before. Oh, though. All right, and that's something else that I really need to work on is uh, this. Um, let's start saving all my citizens. Probably we'll start it. Oh, we don't even have enough money. We will. Oh no, we won't. Not in a little while yet. I think what we should do is just head back over to our other city, muck around a bit over there. We can even send some resources if we want. Last played 12 minutes ago. No, I did not play 12 minutes ago last because I haven't even gone here since a couple days ago. Game servers are still really weird and all that, but anyways, and hopefully I'll be able to play Total War Rome 2. I'm very much looking forward to that. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to a let's play of that from me. If not, then I won't go ahead and play it, but it seems like it will be a pretty good game for the channel at least. How are we going? We're at 155,000 people. This is one of our biggest cities and I don't really think it deserves to be at one of our biggest cities. It's, I don't think it's that well designed. I mean, because we've got skyscrapers in one section and we've got little caravan shack thingamajigs. Doesn't even deserve to be called a caravan shack. God knows what it is. Oh, we've got all these skyscrapers around here. Much taller ones over here. This is our like CBD district. So it's all looking good over there. Um, if we go over here to the region, actually no, this isn't really all that important. So this just lets us place things wherever we want, apart from on water, of course. Which should make sense. So let's close this stuff. So the guys stop bugging us. Cancel the missions and expose debug UI. Have a look at the cheats. Now the cheats don't really seem that spectacular. I like this Dolly the Dinosaur. This creatively colored Brachiosaur seems happy enough hanging out in this Jurassic Oasis. Let's hope she stays there. It's uh, just the ta tarmac. On airports. Wait, we want to go back to cheat, sorry. Um, so, there's not all that much over here in the first section. In the second section, there's nothing. That? What is this? You're not going to give me a pop up to give me a clue? No. Okay. That's the region. We don't want to take photos and it's roads. Yeah, nothing, nothing as good as I had expected at least, but it is kind of nice and neat to be able to continue building out of your city. Here we go. Felgid's Service Road. This street can only be used by pedestrian buses, streetcars, trains, a garage, recreational trucks, police, school, mayor. Okay. That's actually... I wonder why this wasn't inc included into the uh, actual game. Maybe they're just testing this out. I, okay, it's just like any normal road. Okay. Makes sense. What's this? An amusement park walkway? So it seems like they have given us a bit of the... Oh, wow. Okay, although... 
textures aren't the best. That's alright though. So we still do get a bit of the amusement park DLC, even though I haven't bought it. Uh, so where were we before we were also really interrupted over here? And looking at the roads. What the hell is that? I guess that means no water. Nice. Okay. So let's delete this and let's just keep on expanding our city. We'll see how far out we can go. So let's go start out from here, maybe. Yeah, probably from here. What's with the music? I think the music might have changed as well. Let's keep on looking. Okay, so the roads are pretty much what you'd expect now. Go with a normal curve. See, although the camera doesn't or isn't allowed to move any further. Sorry, we need to go through region. There we go. And here's hoping to the fact that would be able to. No, we're not able to build. Ah, oh, damn. I'd love to be able to build some extra residential plots. Let's just test things out. Maybe there will be a way. It doesn't seem like it. It's not letting me scroll more over here, so. Hmm. That's pretty cool, though. They were able to do that. And it's not glitching up or anything, but I'd love to continue building our city. That'd be even more important. But why did I click on that? How did we get all this money as well? Oh, right, this is a different city, isn't it? To the one that we were just playing. Alright, that's where we've got all this money. We've already gained 5,000 or so people. Yep. A bit more than 5,000. 180,000 in the region. Hmm. Not letting me click anywhere. Maybe here on the road, so that's a bit of a downside to this. Well, not really downside, but you can't fault them. So maybe let's go place something special or maybe just something silly. Let's see. Something to do with training, maybe? Okay. Oh, arcs. Hello. A tree. Okay. Is that tree's got a big range. The interesting looking seam tree. That's a sense. More like a balloon, isn't it? It is. It's quite literally a balloon. Yes, I will bulldoze this tree. Oh god. Oh, okay. I thought we would have black pixels for the rest of this episode. Alright, and let's go over here again. We have a different type of tree. Oh, this is looking much better now. Okay. What's this? Ponds. I'm pretty sure ponds would have been in the original game. Not approved. Alright, um, buildings. Here they just give us the option to build all the other buildings, landmarks, attractions, casinos, trading. How about we go to attractions and not the boots out landmarks then. I kind of want to want to build like just a strip of just uh here we go. What if I place this Sydney Opera House something like so like in real life? That would look magnificent. There we go. It's looking much more like Sydney although we really should have flipped it around. Because this is this way is usually facing the ocean. Well, it is because buildings don't move, though, do they? <laughs> That's the entrance from behind, and this way should be facing the ocean. But it does its job. It's looking much better now. We sure are packing into this streetcar. All right. Well, before you guys complain too much, let's go quickly have a closer look at uh, all of this. 
pay that back. Okay, and it also seems like we are working on the airport after all. I still haven't registered all of this stuff. Come on, that's annoying. Okay. Because we're being taxed for using metals and all that, or bringing them in, but we aren't doing anything with them. I think this will be permanently closed. It's probably going to be permanently losing its money. So what I'll do is I'll keep it closed because it's not really useful to our city. That's why I should have done right from the get-go. Yeah, it's just there to look nice. Of course, it's not part of our city officially. I've got this road to worry about as well. We can go ahead and delete that whenever we choose, though. Uh, we are sending medals to... Still... One day they'll get there. One day. After all, we did build the archaeology where we wanted to. And uh, we did completely change the way the city looked in the last episode as well. Have a closer look at how we're doing with all the garbage. Okay. We are not collecting anywhere near enough. Uh, we, that's pretty much because we don't have anywhere near enough garbage trucks. Why does one of them take up two slots? Oh, okay. Has it always been the case? Do they have two... I don't know. I'm guessing the debug UI is just confusing the game, because I don't remember there ever being two. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, as long as we're able to collect the rubbish, that's all good. There's something else that people were complaining about, but I, of course, have forgotten. All oh, right, another thing I've forgotten is fuel. I needed crude oil. So, what we're going to have to do is go over here, fuel, export it, there we go, it'll give me a fair amount of money for that, thank you. So, what was the other thing that I wanted to do? Who knows, but we're having a couple more skyscrapers, that's always good. We're going to reach 170,000 people by the end of the episode. There's one, like in one second in a part of the last episode where we gained 10,000 people. But just like that. We just ticked over by 10,000 extra people. Which is quite crazy. Quite unbelievable. Really? Um, production stop. No recyclables. Now, I never really understood how recyclables worked. Because when I... Well, when we got it working in the first time... I think it was glitched up or something and it was always a zero out of zero and then you had to just place the recycling center and then they'd, the people would start recycling as well as these people are educated and education does play a role in recycling i'm sure i'll have to figure that out we still haven't sold the fuel so i need to change that to crude oil all right that's what i wanted to do the street cars and... All right, okay, so that's definitely what this mod's done is it's Upgraded the garage to hold twice as much so now they hold two streak cars. Okay, let's change the bit a bit dynamics of the game so I'm assuming with our fire station we have way too much. Yeah. Two out of one. It reads everything is two. Alright, that's pretty sweet. So there'll be a download link down below if you are interested in this download. Have a closer look at some other mods if you want me to play something in particular, then make sure you link me to it. Let's go back out over here. Still, nothing. And they are supposed to be giving their resources over there here, but whatever. Who knows what they're doing. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back with some more SimCity. In the meantime, stay tuned for Farming Simulator and maybe even Total War Rome 2.